designed by architect Schick and Roth, based in La Crosse, Wisconsin, and constructed by the talented local contractor L.B. Hushka in the year 1902. The original library was built on the exact site where Sparta's first settler, William Pennant, built his cabin. The Sparta Free Library is a neoclassical, one-story brick building set atop a high coarse stone foundation. The building features, features an open Palladian portico with a center arched entrance supported on short iconic columns and side Doric piers that is reached from the west and east by a divided stair of rusticated stone. The Sparta Library defines a significant representation of this period and type of construction. The interior of the building shares design influence from the exterior, featuring round open arches and open book stacks. Book stacks are what help define a Carnegie Library. Is one of the few things Mr. Carnegie himself requested of every one of these libraries. Wisconsin currently holds the honor of the ninth most Carnegie libraries in the United States with 63. A grant was requested and received from the Carnegie Foundation in the year 1900 for the amount of $10,000. An additional $2,000 was received upon request during the construction of the building. In 1981, the decision was made to add on to the rear of the building. The $500,000 renovation was meant to nearly perfectly match the existing portion. The addition made it possible to include more book stacks in the first floor, a children's center in the basement, and also an elevator all improving upon the library's community benefits. The Sparta Free Library is located on the corner of Court and Main Street. It is among many different style buildings of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. The post office, city hall, police and fire stations are located all within a two block radius which, in itself, enhances the look of the buildings. 